Dave Spielman. Yeah, I mean, look at these temperatures behind the front. We've got a front making its way. It's already made its way through Van Horn. 31 degree differences now between or difference between Van Horn and the El Paso area. We're 61, 52 in Las Cruces, but again, in our eastern counties, that's where the change is occurring out there. We have 10 up there in uh, Rio Doso. So that's where the front is coming. And you folks out there, these are the morning lows. Four in Van Horn. 12 is your temperature for Sierra Blanc. It'll be the overnight low. And then up in Dell City, it will be at 12. But the wind chills will make it feel quite a bit colder. Here is a look at our latest wind chill tracker. And you can see as we make our way through the overnight, oh, this is 11 o'clock tonight. Negative three in Van Horn feels like zero. This is the feel like temperature uh, along Guadalupe Pass minus five is how it feels. Now we're going to get down maybe 15, 13 degrees in the morning hours. That's what it's going to feel like. We're going to gain an easterly wind, but we're not going to get the brunt of the coldest air. Yeah, it's going to be a little colder day tomorrow. But then again, if you look at Sierra Blanca and Van Horn and Guadalupe Pass, that's where really the bulk of that cold air is, and they're going to have negative numbers. That's what it's going to feel like. That's why we have that first alert going on in that area. Then as we start to warm things up, the wind chill not going to be as brutal. Now the winds will be easterly. We're probably looking at 25, maybe 30 with those peak wind gusts. So yeah, it's going to feel colder tomorrow uh, for the borderlands. So certainly uh, dress a little bit warmer out there. Now if you look at temperatures across the state of Texas, if you're going to be traveling eastbound through Texas, uh, you know, bring some warm blankets, have some water, some food, just in case if you have car problems. I mean, it's just going to be very cold out there. You see those temperatures across Texas, uh, very cold. We're not going to be as cold, thank goodness. But as we start to warm things up, we're going to start to lose that colder air. The winds are going to shift, actually, more from the west once we head into Wednesday. And that will gradually warm us up. I mean, you can see these temperatures back in the 50s. And we're going to be at 62 degrees. Now the winds will be a factor. 25, maybe 30 tomorrow. We'll be low and windy Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. The weekend right now, breezy. So about 20 to 25 miles per hour. So not going to be too bad for the weekend. Here's our overnight lows. We're going to drop it down into the 20s tomorrow morning. So we'll be cold. High temperatures tomorrow. Uh, generally going to be in the low, maybe some areas, mid-50s. Don't get accounting for you folks in the upper teens and low 20s. Your high temperature for tomorrow, again, in the lower 50s. All right, so here's your forecast over the next several days, sponsored by Mattress Firm. 63 tomorrow, Thursday at 65. The winds will be a factor, as I talked about, low and windy, so gusts at about 30. Then we begin to cool things down. The next cold front comes in here by Friday. We'll be in the 50s, and then maybe a chance for some rain coming our way by later Sunday and into your Monday. Rachel, I know you're packing in.